So Trump's assignment, the thing that they wrote on the fucking whiteboard during debate prep was to woo women voters. Keep that in mind. As you think back over the debate and how it played out, keep in mind that one of his main goals was to improve his standing with women. I feel like the full extent of his failure at the debate can only be understood when you look at it through that lens. I mean, the thing that stood out to me most throughout the whole debate was the way he wouldn't even look at her. The whole debate, she's just staring daggers through him. She's looking at the inside of his fucking soul. And what's he doing? He's looking down and to the left like a grumpy kid who's looking at the book but refuses to read it. He can't bear to look at her. Because if he did, he'd have to contend with the fact that the two of them were being put on the same level. He wasn't being automatically elevated above her because of his gender or his race. And that fact pisses him off so much. I mean, consider this. A couple of weeks ago, I saw a story about Trump rally in Pennsylvania where he's talking about how much women love him. He's talking about how all the pollsters are telling him he needs to improve his standing with the female voters. Then he starts pointing to women in the fucking crowd going, see, there's one right there. Anyway, as he's doing this, he singles out one group that I guess goes to a bunch of his rallies. And while he's talking about them, while he's supposedly trying to woo women voters, he starts openly wondering why these women's husbands let them travel to his rallies. He says, quote, their husbands are great, but they let them go all over the country, end quote. He even returned to this theme where these women's husbands let them go later in his rant. That's what he says when they tell him to go out there and woo female voters, y'all. He basically calls them property of their husbands while trying to compliment them. And here he is sharing a stage and a ballot with somebody who he sees as a husband's to command. So a fucking course he can't look over there. And let me just say, I think Kamala Harris knocked it out of the fucking park. I mean, the ground and pound she delivered on the abortion question was so brutal, you could see Trump physically squirm. When she sort of conjured the image of a pregnant person trying to navigate this uncertain legal landscape to get health care, you could almost see that theoretical woman in the fucking room with them. But Trump couldn't because he would have been too frightened to look in her direction. And on that note, I'll wrap things up and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. Two weeks in a row, Morgan. Two weeks Ooh. in a row, she's spiking the headphones right now. 